Good luck ebere as chiwe Jonathan GCFR GCON born 20th November 1957 is a Nigerian politician who served as president of Nigeria from 2010 to 2015. He lost the 2015 presidential election to former military head of state general Muhammadu Buhari and he was the first incumbent president in Nigeria history to concede defeat in an election. Prior that, he served as vice president of Nigeria from 2007 to 2010 under the administration of Umaru Musa Yaradwa and in oil rich Bairisa State as governor of Bairisa State from 2005 to 2007. Good luck, Jonathan was born on 20th November 1957 in Ogubia to a Christian family of Kanu makers from the Ijao ethnicity in Bairisa State. He was born in Otuoke. His father, Lawrence Eberi Jonathan, was a canoe maker, and his mother, Eunice I. Eberi Jonathan, was a retired farmer. He attended a Christian primary and secondary school education. He received a bachelor's degree in zoology, second class honor, a master's degree in hydrobiology and fishery biology, and a doctorate in zoology from the University of Port Harcourt. During his time in university, he taught at Liver State College of Education from 1983 to 1993 pre-presidency. Before his entry into politics in 1998, he worked as an educational inspector, a lecturer, and an environmental protection officer. His political career began when he became involved with the Nesquint People Democratic Party in the late 1990s. On 29 May 1999, Jonathan was sold in as deputy governor of Bairis alongside the Prey Aramie Sega, who came in as a governor of the state on the platform of PDP. Jonathan served as deputy governor until December 2005. On 9 December 2005, Jonathan, who was the deputy governor of the time, at the time, was sold in as the governor of Barisa State upon the impeachment of the current governor, B.A. Priya Arai Mie Sega, by the Barisa State Assembly after being charged with money laundering in the United States in the United Kingdom sorry vice president as vice president Jonathan took a very low profile while recognizing the constitutional limits of vice president's office he participated in a cabinet meeting and by statute was a member of National Security Council the National Defense Council the Federal Executive Council and chairman of National Economic Council Order of Succession. Jonathan was named as acting president of Nigeria on 9th February 2010, following a controversial doctrine of necessity from the Senate of Nigeria due to the President Yaradua trip to Saudi Arabia in November 2009 for medical treatment. On 10th February 2010, his first day as acting president, Jonathan announced a minor cabinet reshuffle. In accordance with the order of secession in the Nigeria constitution following President Yaradua's death on 5th May 2010, Jonathan, as acting president, was sued in as the substantive president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on 6th May 2010. On 8th May 2010, as National Assembly approved Jonathan's nomination of Kaduna State Governor Namad Sambo to replace him as Vice President. For the general election in 2011, Jonathan as Vice Pre and Vice President Sambo attended the political event and traveled to the country to campaign for the national highest office. Eretia 
A year later, on 29th May 2011, he was sold in as President of Nigeria and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Nigeria, becoming Nigeria's 14th Head of State. He gave his inauguration address where he declared his government was to focus on transformation agenda and promised to continue implementing the seven-point agenda policy framework of President Yaradwa. He cited anti-corruption, power and electoral reform as focus says on his administration. He stated that he came to office to under very sad and unusual circumstances. Presidency Under Jonathan's administration, Nigeria reversed its gross domestic product for the first time in over a decade, becoming the largest economy in Africa by overtaking South Africa and Egypt. Jonathan's administration accrued over USD 454 billion while in office from oil revenue. Jonathan previously served as an assistant director of the Oil Mineral Producing Area Development Commissioner between 1993 and 1998. The Jonathan administration oversaw the construction of new railways in the country, including the Abuja Kaduna Railway, Lagos Ibadan Railway, and the conceptualized high-speed railway. Way, ray projects, construction and the beautification of many federal roads in the country, including the Lagos Benin Expressway, Abuja Rokoja Expressway, Enugu Abakiriki Expressway, Onitisha Ore Oweri Highway, and most parts of the Enugu Port Harcourt Expressway. Also constructed construction of the second Nigeria bridge between Onitishe and Asaba to relieve the pressure of the old Niger bridge which was completed in December 1965. Construction of the airports across the country. The Akano Ibiam airport in Enugu was upgraded into international airport directly connecting the southeast region of the country to the outside world for the first time since independence. On 2nd August 2010, Jonathan launched his roadmap for power sector reform. Its primary goal was to achieve stable electricity supply, electricity supply in Nigeria. The power holding company of Nigeria, which acted as the national electric provider, was broken up into 15 farms with Nigeria handing over control of state electric assets to 15 private buying companies. The Nigeria government contracted for the services of CPCS Transcom Limited, a Canada based consulate fund specializing in the transport and energy infrastructure project, to act as the Transaction advisor for the handover of the state electrics, electricity assets. Historically, the Nigeria power sector has been plagued by blackouts. Economists estimates that power outrage has costed the Nigeria African biggest economy billions of dollars in imported diesel for generators and lost outputs in a study conducted by the World Bank. A lack of access to finance and electricity were cited as Nigeria's main obstacles to development, surpassing corruption. In finance, Jonathan suspended Sanusu Lamido Sanusu as a governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria after a series of public investigation and raising the alarm on the 20 billion USD NPPC scandal in a week later which revealed that the Nigeria National Petrol Corporation failed to account for USD 48.9 billion of Nigeria oil revenue to the central bank. The NPC has a history of financial irregularities and oversee the corruption petroleum industry in Nigeria. Sanusu would go on to relieve the extent of financial 
recklessness that Nigeria lost a billion dollars a month to diversion of public funds under the Jonathan administration with oil minister Dezan Addison Madweki diverting six billion USD around 1.2 Naira trillion from the Nigerian Treasury. In addition, was Jonathan was alleged to have personally ordered over three trillion Naira, around 15 billion USD from Central Bank of Nigeria to support his election and over self-seeking projects under the use of an intervention fund for national security. Charles Sorudo, a professor of economics and a former governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, acquitted Jonathan's financial recklessness to the former Uganda president Idi Amin. Ngozi Okojo Iwayara, an economist and a former finance minister of Nigeria, pegged Jonathan's administration as the main cause of Nigeria's economist was in a lecture at George Washington University. Also, she later denied it. However, none of the corruption allegations against Jonathan have been proven in any law court. During Jonathan's administration, Nigeria's foreign policy was reviewed to reflect a citizen-focused approach designed to accord this vision of defending the dignity of humanity the highest priority and connected the foreign policy to the stick policy while placing a greater emphasis on economic democracy. 2015 elections, Jonathan believed the APC's popularity was inflated, having made his view clear in an interview with the cable, Nigeria's independent online newspaper in 2015. Just two days to the general elections, Jonathan said, I don't think Nigerians will make the mistake of voting for Bali. The general, with due respect, is not the right option for Nigeria at this time. It is a gamble that it's not worth taking. I may not be perfect as nobody is perfect, but I believe that come Saturday, the majority of Nigeria voters will choose me as the best candidate to lead the nation forward. On Saturday, March 2015, Jonathan conquered direction to challenge Muhammad Buhari, who was sworn in to succeed him on 29th May 2015. Jonathan said in the statement he issued on the 1st March 2015 that nobody's ambition is worth the blood of any Nigeria. 2023 election. It was alleged that Jonathan has expressed interest to stand for the 2023 national presidential election under the All Progressive Congress APC. The, to achieve this, the APC primary nomination form have been picked up for him by his supporters, which were debunked by his media aide Ukechuku Eze. Post the president, since leaving office, Jonathan has continued to defend his administration. In 2018, he was appointed as the Honorary Special Advisor to the Bayelisa Education Trustee Fund Board. In June 2019, Goodluck Jonathan was named the chairperson of Yuri Inaugurated International Summit Council for Peace. In July 2020, Jonathan was appointed Special Envoy of the Economic Community of West Africa states ECOWAS to read meditation talks between during the 2020 Marian protest. Personal life, Jonathan and his wife, them patient Jonathan have two kids, Ariwera, son, and Arwa, by daughter. Well, in 2007, Jonathan declared his asset was of 295 million naira equivalent to around eight and a half million USD. In summary, His Excellency Good Luck Jonathan C G C F R S G C O N was 14th president of Nigeria, was in office 5th May 2010 to 29th May 2015. 
who was acting on from 9th February 2010 to 5th May 2010. Vice President Namadi Sambo preceded by Umara Yaradwa succeeded by Muhammadu Bari. 15th, 12th Vice President of Nigeria in office 29 May 2007 to 5th May 2010. President Umaru Yaradwa preceded by Atiku Abu Bakari succeeded by Namad Samba. Governor of Baerisa in office 9th December 2005 to 29th May 2007 preceded by the Pre Arameye Sega, succeeded by Tim Prince Silva, Deputy Governor of Barisa in office 29th May 1999 to 9th December 2005. Governor Tim Pre Arameye Sega, personal details born Jonathan Ebere as a Chiwe Good Luck, born 20th November 1957, age 65. From Ogbia, Baelsa, State, Nigeria, Political Party, People's Democratic Party, Spouse, Patient, Jonathan, Kids, Two, Education, Doctor of Philosophy, Degree in Zoology, Arimata, Arimamata, University of Port Harcourt, Occupation, Politics. Thank you very much for being with us. Today we have focused about Jonathan Eberi. Good luck. 14th president of nigeria thank you very much and see you in other upcoming videos don't forget to watch other videos you have made on former nigerian presidents thank you very much and bye